So if you've been wondering to yourself if we have now hit that holy grail for doing Android mobile gaming on an Apple Silicon Mac with the new Moo Moo Player Pro. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you that three of the most popular Android mobile games, that being Call of Duty, Call of Duty Warzone, and also Fortnite, none of those three will play on your Mac using Moo Moo Player Pro. So let me get into this. Okay, so this is my MacBook Pro here, and just to be clear, this is an M1 Max. So this has got 32 gigabytes of RAM and 32 GPU cores. Now, as we can see here, the setup that I've got is four cores with six gigabytes assigned to Moo Moo Player Pro, and I'm only using a resolution of 1600 by 900. Now, to be clear, I've done basically every permutation of like these particular setups here. And, you know, it doesn't matter whatever I choose, you know, all of these games will all crash nonetheless. Now, just to be clear here, this four core six gigabytes have ended up going here from the settings, where if I go to performance, I've selected balanced. So basically this particular setup here is super easy for this particular Mac to be able to run on. So like I say, four core six gigabytes. Anyway, and that was the balance mode. So let me just come out of there and then let me get into the actual UI here. Let me just go full screen. Okay, this is just take a couple of seconds. I'm not gonna speed through anything here because I want things to like come across properly. Now we might hear notifications and stuff ringing and whatnot, so try and ignore them. Anyway, first thing I'm going to do here is get into Call of Duty Warzone. So let me just launch that. Now at this point here, you might be thinking, oh, well, this is good. And then suddenly it does that. <laughs> right, there we go, hold on. Let's see what this beach ball's doing here. Also at this point, it's worth mentioning that these crashes manifest themselves in various ways. But as we can see here, this is completely just locked up. Right, give me one second. Okay, so I've just had to do all kinds of shenanigans there to get out of that crash and stuff. I've basically had to force the app from running. So I'm just gonna go back into the app again there. As we can see, still four core six gigabytes for the setup. Let me just go full screen here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just get into Call of Duty Mobile. Now, this one looks like it's going to go further because at least it gets past the Activision splash screen. However, what we will see shortly is that there are a bunch of problems here. So it's now going to start trying to log in, but it's now going to ask me to confirm my, you know, my, my data birth and stuff. So let me just get onto this. So as I'm here... I can't actually type. <laughs> There's nothing that I can do to get in there. And then eventually it does that, which is disappear and vanish. So as you can see there, the game just quit out and basically disappeared as I was trying to type in my date of birth. Now, just to be fair, in case this is hung again, let me just exit the actual player. Okay, so I'm just going to restart the player again. And this is just to be fair in case that instance of Call of Duty Mobile crash and put the player into an unstable state. So as we can see, I'm relaunching it again. There we go. I'll go full screen once again here. Let me see. Okay, so the next thing to try now is going to be Fortnite. So let me try Fortnite. Okay. And again, you know, this, this all looks like it's going to be doing good and stuff. And this actually does get right into, like, you know, past the splash screens and stuff. And it does look like it's definitely going to get somewhere. However, and once again, this will also crash, as I will show you in a second. Okay, what it is, I'm not going to speed through these as they're launching and stuff because you know I don't want to don't want people to to think that I'm jumping past stuff. So it's going to be a bit boring as they load through. Anyway, I'm just going to go to Battle Royale here. Let me click on play, and this looks good. Oh wait a minute, what's this? Unable to run Fortnite while USB debugging is active. Please disable developer mode and restart Fortnite. Well, to be honest and to be fair, I've actually oh <laughs> it's crashed. <laughs> Okay, as we can see, that just crashed out there and it just didn't work whatsoever. What I was about to say was, in all fairness, I did actually do a few extra steps here with Fortnite and I did do some things to do with like debugging and switching things off and stuff like that. However, it made no difference because what then happened was other error messages started coming up and it was basically saying that the game needed to be like reloaded in and stuff like that like as if there was bits missing when the weren't because i'd obviously spent like all the time to download it correctly and everything anyways as we can clearly see there fortnite did not work 
either. Okay, so as we could quite clearly see there, none of those games would run on an Apple Silicon Mac using Moo Moo Player Pro. In fact, not only would they not play, they wouldn't even launch, so we were nowhere near getting into the gameplay at all. So all three of those games there had problems right from the get-go, even before we got to the point of being able to even try to play a game. Now, I know there's going to be a bunch of people out there who are going to be saying things like, well, this is only beta and stuff. Well, well, the thing is this is beta which is close to release do you know what i mean so it should actually be working pretty much the same as it's going to once it's on release so a lot of people are going to be saying well maybe we just wait for the release well i'm going to hazard a guess here that none of those three games there are going to be available to play properly or at all when the actual release version of moomoo Moo player pro comes out now there's also going to be other people out there who are going to start bleating on about things like adb debugging modes and stuff like that or like you know going into elevated privilege modes with you know with super user and stuff like that and all kinds of crankiness to do with like terminal commands or adding extra things in there to try and circumnavigate the differences between the actual emulator and the host os which is mac os obviously in this instance well the thing is it doesn't matter how much you want to bleat on about these things and say like you know this might work or that might work right now none of it works and also all those other things there as well for trying to get things to work you know all that messing around like i've just mentioned the simple thing here is that the vast majority of people are not going to want to do that it's pure and simple that easy you know over 95 percent of the people out there who are wanting to play games on their mac they are not interested in doing anything other than download the game whether that's like native to the mac or through an emulator it won't matter to most people but what they want to do is just download the game like click start and then play and get into the game and have a fun time playing their game of choice but the simple fact here is that you can't do that that easily on mac with things that are not designed to run on mac and so therefore the vast majority of people are not going to start doing stuff like you know weirdo emulations or going into terminal commands or doing any kind kind of host of stupidity to try and get the Mac to do stuff that it's not designed to do. Now, if you're one of those people who wants to argue with me till you're blue in the face about things like virtual machines, emulations, and all kinds of junk like that, then like feel free to leave your comments and hopefully somebody else can deal with your comments because I've got no interest in them. Because as far as I'm concerned, I'm just one of those casual gamers who simply wants to download the game, hit start, and get into my game of choice and having fun on on my Mac playing games. Anyways, if you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. A sub to the channel would be absolutely awesome. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.